there's blood everywhere. Like, I swear to God on everything I love. That chopper dumper, my money gon' fuck up. Like your hair out of short, my money got longer. All right, y'all, it's for Carlo back with another video. I don't know you and you don't know me, so let's get into it. As you've seen from the title, this is no cap. This, this really happened. Now, I'm going to go in detail. I can make this short. I can make it long. Shut up and get to the point. For some reason, that school year, I wanted to be bad. I was, a, uh, I don't know what grade it was. I was bad, and I had to go to summer school. That's all I remember. My dad sent me to summer school. Bro, summer school was T. It was mad baddies there. Okay, all right, I kind of like this. I'm vibing with this. Bro, we had recess. We, we was barely learning. We was just sitting there. We was just cooling, like, didn't care about anything. We was, summer school was T. That's all I'm gonna say. Fast forward, maybe like a month or two into summer school, I meet up with this girl. I'm not gonna give her a real name out. I'm gonna call her Sid. So me and Sid go way back because we went to a daycare called Child Care Network. So me and Sid go way back. So we like, oh, what's up, bro? Like, where you been? Da, 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 da. What you here for? Blase, blase. The little rundown though. Yeah. One day, we're outside. We're playing on the playground. And I'm always the type. I like deep conversations about spiritual, about life. Uh, Aliens, octopus, like you name it, it don't matter. We can have a deep conversation about anything. Me, you, yeah. <laughs> Me and her was having a deep conversation. Somehow, spirits came up. Like, ghost, all type of junk. At that time, a lot of the trends that was going on about messing with Charlie, Charlie, all type of spirits. Bloody Mary, Candyman, all of that. So, me being young and dumb, not thinking. We had gotten to spirits. We like, yo, F this spirit, F this spirit. Tripping. Now you know this gonna leave me with a scarf. Like, I'm like, F Bloody Mary, blase, blase, blase. Like, who did I think I was? All I remember I was said, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And I end up saying it again. If you know you're not supposed to say it three times in a row at all. So the day go past, we're back in class, eating everything, everything's cool, nothing's wrong. On that bus ride home, that was the longest bus ride on earth. I don't know why, but that bus ride, I remember everything. I'm just sitting there, I'm looking out the windows. I'm waiting. I see where we pull up where my dude's whole apartment complex was. So I'm like, well, yeah, I'm home. Like, it's summer, we finna get tea. So that day, when I got in the house, everything was gravy. Like, I went to go eat. I was just chilling. Like, nothing was wrong. I used to have a, a red MP3. I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. But I used to have a red MP3. Used to have all my music on it. That and jerk, jerk, jerk. Yeah, that I had all that up there. But New Boys used to be mine. Like, I used to mess with them hard. So I would listen to New Boys. I listen to everything. Next thing I know, I end up staying there the night because I wasn't staying with my mom and my dad all the time. So I end up staying with my mom that night. Keep in mind, when I went to school, I have a book bag on. Just keep that in mind. So, that night, I leave my book bag on the couch. I leave it on the couch. I go upstairs, I go to sleep. It's a Friday, so I'm like, okay, we not worried about nothing, we just chilling. Oh my God, I get chills to my body talking about this, but. So I'm in the room sleep. I'm in the room sleep. I don't know what happened that night, but all I know is that I'm asleep. When I'm asleep, I wake up. I hear somebody scream. I think it was my sister or my mom. I don't remember which one vividly it was, but it was either my sister or my mom. When I heard that scream, I had woke up. So I go in the bathroom to go check. You 
see that. But I go in the bathroom and go check. There's blood everywhere. I swear to God on everything I love. There's blood on the mirrors, blood on the counters, blood going down the stairs, blood on the wall. So everybody shook. Everybody's up except me. So when I get up, I'm like, yo. So I go in my mom's room. My brother's in there. My older brother, my little brother, my sister, my mom. Only person missing was my uncle. So I go downstairs. I go check out everything. I go look. The house looked straight, everything was straight. The blood stopped on the door downstairs. So let me let me break this down to you. The way the house was. Alright, so this is the front door. You walk through the front door, walk straight up the stairs, you can go left, and there's a room right there. If you keep going straight towards that left, it's a it's another room right there. That's the room I was sleeping in. So now back we start. Now if you're going back up the stairs and take a right, that's my mom's room right there. But if you go up the stairs again, take a left, right there, the bathroom's right there. The bathroom and my mom room was connected together. So that was just giving you a layout of how the house was. So when you're downstairs, you walk downstairs, you could turn you could turn left, which would leave you into the kitchen area and where it was like a, a screen door where you can go out to where the parking stuff was at. So you can either go that way or you could just walk all the way around, walk all the way around the kitchen. It was like a little hallway. Walk all the way down, there's a bathroom right there. You could walk around and go to the living room and the desktop area where all the computers and stuff was at. And then you're back into where the front door. So I go down. The first place I check, I check right instantly. I don't know why. I check right and I see my book bag. For some reason, I don't know why. I, I seriously don't know why I went in my book bag. But look, I went in my book bag, I checked. It was blood everywhere in my book bag. Yo, I swear to God. I had this book. I had this book for years. Like I had this book for years. I threw it away maybe a few years ago. But bro, there was blood inside of all my books, everything, this and this and like it was blood everywhere. One day to my mom I was like, Mom, there's blood in my book bag. She told me to throw the whole book bag away. I said, okay. I was scared. Everybody's calling my dad. Like they trying to figure out what happened. Cause my dad, he he don't, he he seriously don't care. I hear them ask my dad to come check it out, blase, blase, blase. So I go back upstairs, I go in the room. Everybody's scared, cause number one, my uncle is still missing. My uncle's still missing, that's the crazy thing. We don't know where he's at. So we're just sitting in the room waiting for my dad to get there. My dad get there, he look around, he like, yo, like, what is this? Like, what happened? Like, we're all confused. We really don't know what happened. I didn't think about the spirits that I was messing with. Keep in mind, we didn't clean any of that blood or anything up. Like, that that's still there. Everything's still there. So my dad comes, asking questions. Bazi, bazi, bazi. All I, like, y'all remember the MP3, right? My MP3 had gospel music on it. All I know is I grabbed my headphones and I, I was in that, I was in there going stupid. Like I'm listening to all gospel music. Like, bro, I'm trying to like, bro, this isn't right. Like something's wrong. So I'm listening, I'm tuning in. Like, I'm just trying to keep a happy spirit, trying to keep everybody calm. I'm still young. So I'm not thinking like, bro, you really messed up. So fast forward, fast forward. We at school on Monday. Typical days of how it usually go. But me and Sid meet up again. And when me and Sid meet up again, I'm like, yo, did anything strange happen in your house the night that we did any of that? She was like, yeah. I don't know if this was true on her end, but this is what she told me. And I always believed it, and I still am. She said, yeah. That night, everybody in my house was asleep, and she was the only one up. And she heard somebody coming up the stairs. Now, if you ever lived in the house, you can hear stairs creaking stuff, right? 
So think about it. That's really scary. That could have been anything. But like, yo. Ooh, me and her end up falling off after that. We stopped messing with each other. Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm trying to stay far away from that as possible. Anyway, man, I end up going back home. Everything ended up being cool on that Monday. Just typical normal day at my mom's house. Nothing major. But... That's the story on how an actual real life spirit has came and visited me. And a lot of people don't know that story, so I feel like it would have been good to share with y'all. So, um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Like I see in every video, if you made it to the end, you will go for real. But like, leave a comment, subscribe. Have any questions, DM me on all my social media. Follow me on all social media. We out of here.